How can targeted individuals confront psychological warfare? Discover strategies against gang stalkers in a silent battle for survival by Roderick Duplichain. Surviving the Unseen Threat, a guide for targeted individuals facing the menace of gang stalkers in the concealed corners of our society and in conspicuous war wages on. For those among us labeled as targeted individuals, tis, the world takes on a disconcerting guise. As an advocate for education, political, civil, and human rights, my life's journey has been one of resolute commitment to justice. However, since 2004, I found myself thrust into a shadowy labyrinth of government abuses, police brutality, psychological torment, and incessant surveillance. Today, I invite you to stand alongside me in the battle for survival against a formidable adversary, the gang stalkers, the imperative of survival. For true TIs, survival isn't merely a choice, it's an absolute imperative. The psychological warfare directed at us is crafted to push individuals to the brain, leading some to contemplate suicide or manipulating circumstances to falsely appear as apparent suicides. The goal is to portray us as paranoid, schizophrenic, and detached from reality. Yet, in the face of these challenges, we must stand our ground. In this arduous struggle, knowledge emerges as a potent weapon. Familiarize yourself with your rights. In most states, threats to kill or inflict bodily harm constitute assault, while any physical contact amounts to battery. Document every threat, every encounter. Knowledge becomes your shield, information, your armor. The covert epidemic. This clandestine program has ensnared countless victims, and quantifying the lives lost to this unrelenting campaign of harassment proves nearly impossible. The suicides, mysterious one-car accidents, and drug overdoses form a grim tapestry woven by those orchestrating our torment. Some individuals, such as Aaron Alexis, Myron May, Gavin Long, and Esteban Santiago, have been driven to become mass shooters. Yet, if you are reading this, you are still alive. As long as life persists, so does hope. Survive regardless of the overwhelming odds stacked against you. Leaving a record. Engage with government officials, even if suspicions arise about their involvement. File police reports detailing the threats you face. Understand that the very system meant to protect us may be complicit, but we must leave a record of our torment. It serves as a lifeline, a breakum trail of evidence that may one day expose the truth. Final note. Let it be unequivocal. I'm neither homicidal nor suicidal. I pose no threat to myself or others. My objective is survival, shedding light on the darkness enveloping us. For every TI and those championing justice, unity is imperative in this battle against governmental abuse of power. In the face of relentless adversity, victory is attainable. We must stand resolute, side by side, confronting the gang stalkers. Recall the words of Martin Luther King Jr. The time is always right to do what is right. It is time to do what is right for ourselves, our fellow TIs, and for a society that must be awakened to the concealed war in its midst.